G'day and welcome to Ben's Works. On this week's episode, I'm going to show you how to make a dragon skin effect. So a dragon is basically a mythical type monster with reptile like skin. So judging by that, I'm going to have to find a piece of burl that kind of has a scaly look to it. Even though scaly skin is fairly flat, I still want to find a piece that has a few bumps in it. I think this one will do the job. For this project, I'll be using the same mould that I used when I made Aquaman. Now this is a silicon mould, and I got this one from Solar Colour Dust. I think for this one I want quite a lot of burl in here, so I think I might cut the middle out of this one. I'm just going to make a rough cut, because eventually I'll clean the edges up on the disc sander. How good does burl look? It's got such a nice grain. My next step is to stabilise the wood with some cactus juice. Now I don't often do this, but I've made myself a DIY vacuum chamber. You won't see too much about it in this video, but I will have a full how-to video coming out soon. I've taken the burl out of the oven. It was in there for about three hours. It's definitely added some weight to it. My next step is to use the disc sander to square it up until it fits in the mould. The key to making this look like dragon skin is going to come down to these super chameleon flakes. These are the ones from Solar Color Dust. They got a big range of colors to choose from. I got a handful here that we can try out. But before I put on the chameleon flakes, it's always best to use a dark base. So I'm just going to paint the burl with some acrylic paint. I've gone ahead and painted three sides black. But I've left this one alone, I think it'll be nice to see one natural edge. Now that's all dry, the next step is to put on the flakes. The best way I've found to do that is with some UV resin. My plan here is to use multiple colours and blend them all together. From my experience with using these chameleon flakes, the more you put in, the better the effect will be. Now all you have to do is mix it all together. I think I'll start in this top corner and just work my way forward. I may end up sanding this side off, but just in case I don't, I'm going to paint it anyway. Check out how good that colour shift looks. I'm going to put this colour to one side and we'll grab the next one. So that first colour we used, that was the rose gold and green. Now I think I'll use the gold green, purple and blue. I like this colour, it's very reptile like. I'm not too sure how well this is going to work, but I'm just going to try and blend it in. You can see there that I've blended them together. I reckon it looks quite nice. For the last colour, I'm going to go blue, purple, red. What do you guys think of that? I think it looks bloody unreal. I think if I wanted to stay with the true lizard look, the green all over would definitely be the way to go. 
but I like to change things up a little bit and I think the more colourful it looks, I think the better it looks. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cure this with a UV torch. That looks awesome. Now the next step is to cast it, but before we do that, let's go look at it in the sun. Wow, it looks even more amazing out here. It's now time to pop it in the mould. That's a beautiful fit. The resin I'll be using is a slow set casting resin. So I've just had an idea. See how the top of the burl is sticking through the resin there? I kind of like it. Almost as if you'd be able to touch the dragon skin. What do you guys think? I noticed that there was trapped air pockets along the side of the mould here. So I've just been working them out with my thumb. Because we don't want them to get trapped in there. I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go pop it in the pressure pot. If any of you fellow makers want to do a sticker swap, my address is in the description. I've left this casting in the pressure pot for about 7 hours. It's a bit longer than I normally do, I just want to make sure this one is perfect. No matter how many castings I do, I always get nervous when I go to pull the lid off. Well there we have it, there's our casting. It's not too bad. I did unfortunately get a couple of bubbles on this side here. I was a bit worried when I put the burl in because it was such a tight fit. I trapped some air underneath here and I tried to get as much of it out as I could but unfortunately the pressure pot just couldn't get it all but I still think it's okay. So I guess the next thing we need to do is take it out of the mould and then once it's out, we'll take a good look at it and see whether or not we sand that edge off. So you can see there that all the air was trapped underneath and unfortunately the burl was just such a tight fit in the mould that the air couldn't escape up the sides and out the top. So I guess the only thing left to do now is just take it to the disc sander, I'm going to square all this up, then sand it and polish it and we'll get it looking beautiful. So I've got the block all sanded and polished, but there's one final thing I want to do. Where the burl's coming out of the resin here, it's kind of like the dragon's coming out of the water. And just around here where it breaks the surface, I want to try and make it look like it's ripply water. I learnt this technique from Jedrick. If you haven't checked him out, I'll leave a link in the description. He has some awesome videos on his channel. He uses this gel medium to create the texture. You just apply it with a brush, and you can make whatever texture you like. Depending on how thick you apply this, the thicker parts will stay sort of white, but where the thin coats are, they'll go transparent. That looks pretty cool, most of that will become clear, I'm just going to put this to the side and let it dry.
Well guys, what did you think of that one? The dragon skin effect. I think it turned out pretty cool. Even though dragons are a mythical creature and nobody truly knows what they look like, I guess if you use your imagination, this would be pretty close. And what do you think to the water breaking on top here? That gel medium worked really well. And where the burl's poking out on top here, it does have a thin layer of resin over it, and it does feel like lizard skin. Well that's all for this week's episode, I hope you enjoyed this one. A big thank you to Solar Color Dust for supplying the pigments for this one. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can find them. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.